ओके हाय गाइस तो आज आप देखने वाले हैं ट्यूटोरियल नेचुरल मेकअप लुक के लिए अब आई नो ये जो मैंने ऑलरेडी हाइलाइटिंग और कॉन्ट्रोलिंग कर दिया है और स्पेशली आई के लुक के लिए आईज को तैयार कर दिया है इसीलिए ये कुछ ऐसा दिख रहा है अब आप कहेंगे कि क्या आई के ऊपर इतना लाइट कलर डालना ज़रूरी है अम अकॉर्डिंग टू मी मुझे लगता है कि यहाँ पे हम नेचुरल कलर्स लेंगे जो आपका स्किन टोन है उससे एक या दो कलर ज़्यादा डार्क है ऐसे कलर्स के साथ हम खेलेंगे तो ये जो कलर्स हैं आपके स्किन के ऊपर अगर डिसकलरेशन होगा तो मज़ा नहीं आएगा इसीलिए हम पहले एक क्लीन कैनवस बना देते हैं ताकि आप जो भी कलर्स इसके ऊपर डालें वो दिखेंगे जिस तरह से डालेंगे उस तरह से दिखेंगे रादर देन अपियरिंग अ डिफरेंट वे ओके तो चलिए शुरुआत करते हैं और मैंने प्राइमर लगा दिया है प्राइमर के बाद फाउंडेशन फाउंडेशन के बाद कॉन्ट्रोलिंग एंड हाईलाइटिंग कर दिया है या कॉन्ट्रोलिंग एंड कंसीलर मैंने यूज़ कर लिया है अब हम इससे आगे बढ़ते हैं स्पेशली आइज करेंगे हम ब्लश करेंगे और या ब्लश करेंगे एंड लिप्स के ऊपर हम कलर लगाएंगे तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पर ये जो है ये हमारा यू ट्वेल्व फोर कैरेट गोल्ड का सिरम है जैसे आपको बताया कि फर्साली का यूप है ये यहाँ पर सारे अच्छे अच्छे ऑयल्स लेकर जो गोल्ड का जो फॉइल होता है उसको लेकर बनाया गया है ये एंड अगर आपने देखा नहीं है ये कैसे बनाना है तो इसकी रेसिपी ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है इसी चैनल पर तो देख लीजिए तो ये हम यूज़ करेंगे फोटो को मॉइस्चराइज करने के लिए आप इससे अपनी स्किन पर लगा सकते हैं फेस और नेक पर लगा सकते हैं तो जब तक हम आई लैशेज आई शेडो करेंगे तब तक लिप्स मॉइस्चराइज रहेंगे ताकि आपके लिप्स रेडी हो जाए लिप्स लगाने के लिए बिकॉज या मेकअप बनाने से पहले थोड़ा बहुत मॉइस्चराइज रहेंगे तो अच्छा है आपके लिए सोचने की शुरुआत करते हैं आई मेकअप लुक के साथ तो हम सबसे पहले लेंगे ये पैलेट लेंगे अब मेरे पास ये पैलेट है आपके पास जो भी पैलेट है आप उससे काम चला सकते हैं मेरे पास ये पैलेट है यू नो आई हैव दिस पैलेट इट इज़ लाइक ब्यूटी ग्लेस्ड पैलेट एंड ओके लेट मी टेल यू वॉट आई told in hindi because this channel i just want to talk in hindi as well as in english i just clarified why i have this very specifically blown eyes it's just because i am putting colors very very neutral according to my skin tone so i would like that uh you know very close to my skin tone you can just see my skin tone and a tone or two tones darker than my skin tone so if there is any discoloration on your skin it might not look that good so i have just concealed the entire area and i put a little bit lighter color so that whatever shades i put on my eyes it's just going to pop now let's say what other what other shades that you can choose for this nude look so nude or neutral makeup it's just like a very natural and an office sort of makeup that you can use it every day because in office when you are very much nice and presentable it just looks good and people have a good feeling about you yeah just says two words extra it just uh, gives adds that extra little touch for you which you don't have to do for yourself so let's begin so i'll just divide people into three different skin tones i know there are a lot of skin tones first is fair then is wheatish then we have the darker complexion so for the fair people um use tones that are very mild and peachy and pink peach pink and beige just stick to those three colors for the neutral look for the wheatish people you can go ahead with a dark peach uh, orange sort of shade not too orange right because this is like an office sort of look you can also use a rose sort of color and uh, another can be a brownish sort of shade then for the darker skin tones you can actually go into a lighter tone which is like a light beige color then you can have a coffee brownish color and then you can have a slightly black or very black color which can actually just look just enhance your look whatever you are trying and it just defines your eye look really well okay so let's begin and i have this beauty glazed palette and you can use whatever palette is available with you and you might say okay why am i using this palette it's just because in india we don't get morphe palettes we don't get the other amazing palettes that are out there i know the, those are some very good palettes and but we don't get them so i just got one of my uh, somebody whom i know in the U uk i just asked that person to get me this and that person got me this so yeah i have it so let's begin now 
Uh, and first, I'm just going to dive into a transition shade, which is going to be this color. You can see that it's very close to my skin tone, and yeah, you can just see it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, which is going to work really well here. So, taking a fluffy blending brush here, we have this fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to dive into this shade and tap it off, tap off the excess. So that is okay. So there you can see we just have a slightest shade, and so yeah. Now, I'm taking the same shade under the eye, this same shade we are going to take under the eye to match it with the rest of the look. So, yes, with this flat brush, I'm just going to dip into that and. Okay, so I, you can see I have it under my eyes, but I am not smudging it too much. I am going to use another shade on my eye, and we are going to blend that in the lower line. So yes, and now let's go with the... Now, you know, when I like to go with the nude look, with the natural and neutral look, I don't like to go too brownish, because I just feel that I am beautish, and, and, and just two yellowy shades. I just don't like two yellowy shades. Yeah, it just appears like a totally blank look. Maybe if you like me doing that look, let me know in the comments down below so that I can do that look where I'll be using only browns and blacks on my face. So you can get that like a very tanned look or something, I don't know. So today I am using a little bit of pink or a rosy sort of shade and then we will be also using some other browns or oranges. So do you think that's a good idea? I don't know whether that's a good idea or not, but yeah, we have to go ahead with something, right? So yeah, I just I just play that on the inner and the outer corner. I will go with a rosy color and in the center I just go with a natural shimmery shade. So yes, that's a good idea. I guess that is what you wanted me to do. I really mind. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going into this shade here, this one. I don't know what its name is because there is no names on the palette. Let's see, on the back. No, they don't have it. Just have the ingredients list. Okay, so I just got that light color on both the sides. Now you can see that you might feel that it's not a good color choice, but I just feel that this is like, yeah, I should go ahead with it. I just want to go with the flame and, okay, so yes, so let's just blend it. You know, in order to blend colors, especially your eye colors, just try to use the circular motions. So yeah, let's like blend it well. Now let's get into what, what we are going to pack into the center. So we are going to use this flat brush. Now again, you might be used to listening to the brush number, morphine brush number this, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills brush number this, Sigma, I don't know Anastasia, but they have a lot, Sigma, Sigma, this number brush, that number brush, well, these are just normal brushes, they are not any specific brand, so they don't even have a number on them, but yes, they do work well for me, so I'm going ahead with them. Now, we're getting into the palette, we are going into this shimmery shade, which you can see for the center of the eye. Now, we are having just a little bit of fallout, but I think that's okay, because this is like a palette which is very close, very reasonable, and we cannot complain. Okay, so that is like a good color and I would just like to add a little bit of drama to it by adding that same shimmery shade to the lower lash line. So no, okay, I'm not adding a shimmery shade because it would be like too much shimmer, I would like to add, add a matte sort of color. So going ahead with a matte color, yeah, but a lighter one. So, which can be this. Okay, I am using this lighter shade here and I think it's looking good. That's it. I'm just using a little bit of rose color because, yeah, we can go dry. Because rather than appearing a pale color, a pale makeup, we can obviously look a little bit more blushy and pinky sort of natural. So yes, I don't have too many pink and peachy sort of tones here, so I'm just going with whatever I have. Okay, so that is good and I'm just like to add a little bit of lighter shade on the inner corner of the eyes. So let's go with this. Okay, I'm just trying to use a shade from my Profusion palette, which is this shimmery shade, and I'm going to go with that. Yeah, that looks good. And then, with this shade, now this is the Makeup Revolution palette. So this is the shade that we will go ahead with. 
Und ihn nochmal gravieren. Okay, so I have I'm done with the eyes. Now let's go with the liner and put on some blush and then go with the lips. So we are going with the MAC. This is the MAC Black Stroke Liner. Yeah, it works really good for me. You can do with whatever shade you have, whatever liner you have. For lining the waterline, I have the number 7 um, Stay Perfect Amazing Eyes Pencil. So I'm going to use this. Now, you know, if you are a light skinned person, if you are a fair person, use a brown toned uh, brown toned eyeliner, right? Because I am a British complexion person. I have black hair. Black hair. Uh, try to match the color of the eye pencil and the eyeliner with the color of the hair that you have. So yeah, that's the pretty much uh, good clue. So there goes the eyes. Now let's go with the cheeks. So for the cheeks also, just try to remember that this is a very natural and nude sort of look. Don't make your cheeks pop. So just try to have a very light and very faint sort of blush. We are going to go in with the Milani. You can see like this is a very soft peachish sort of shade. So we are going to go in with that and just a light touch of it. With blush, I'm always very happy when I have a very nice and popping blush on my cheeks because I feel like my skin tone it requires a popping color to make something visible on my skin. So yes, but still because this is a natural look, we are just going to go in with the peachish sort of blush shade. Yeah, not bad. great so then uh, now we have to also highlight as well as put on a lip color so okay i just wipe up that um, white now i know that a lot of people use that for sari sort of thing and um, if you would like to wipe then wipe it i just wanted to wipe so that i have a nice clean thing because at times when you put on a lip color it lights too much if you have a oily sort of base on your lips so now i'm going to use two of these shades now you might see what is this this is a lip tint which is water based and then we are going to use this lancome lip color the lip tint is like a reddish sort of thing and this is a very neutral thing now you might say we are going with the natural look why am i going with the reddish tone we'll come to know soon yeah because i always use it this way i love my lips to be done this way so that is the shade which you can see Okay, so these that I have put only on these sides and if you have watched my earlier tutorial you might you might know what I'm doing here but if you have not watched it then just keep watching how the magic plays itself. So this is the Lancome shade that I am using it's very neutral and it's very nude according to my skin it's going to suit so yeah we are choosing this shade. So that is a nude shade, but I am still not getting the sort of thing that I want here. And then going with, now I usually want a nice and nude shade in the center. I don't have a nude lipstick, so I'm just going with this nude lip liner. You'll see how it works out. It's not showing up much, so we can do another trick here. We can take a Pro Fusion palette, Target palette, and getting into this shade. Just use it in the center so that it gives a nice shimmer. 
it gives a nice shiny look so yes and then now finishing up the highlighting for highlighting we have as usual the makeup revolution baked highlighter and let's let's dive into it with the fan brush So this look it also depends how much you want it to be shimmery how much you want it to be matte if you want it to be all matte then use all matte shades even highlighter use a very very least like a just a dewy sort of finish highlighter rather than a very popping and a very shimmery one but I do like a little bit of shimmer so I am using a good amount of highlight you can see how much I'm glowing from the amount of the highlighter that I'm using and yeah so that is the pretty much finished look and let's take the same highlighter below the brow bone What do you think about this look so what do you think this look is uh, and I would like that you leave your comments and let me know what sort of other looks I you want me to create and yeah so this is pretty much it and so we are ending this video here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with me bye bye